before coming to this class, I was very unconfident in drawing or even doing anything because of how poorly it was. But then coming here, uh, using the techniques I, I was taught and all the positive reinforcement has helped me gain more confidence in uh, constructing and drawing. Having the opportunity to just, you know, do this course and let my mind imagine different things, different types of creativity, uh, it's kind of opened up that door again to want to start writing more and continue focusing on my writing. A really interesting thing that's happened is that the, the class has kind of turned into a maker space. So it's kind of shifted from an art studio classroom to a maker space environment. And what I mean by that is uh, maker spaces are these organizations in society that have propped up in the last 10, 15 years connected to STEAM education, which is science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. And they're really about a democratization of education and of innovation um, because maker spaces can have many different focuses. Uh, it can be focused more on engineering, one can be focused more on sewing, these kinds of things. But the idea is you have these spaces where people can come together, use um, uh, you know, machines, equipment, resources to build and create and innovate. Um, this class have, has helped me with understanding what's life outside the box. Because sometimes I would see myself, you know, thinking in one place, but with this class I get to see so many things. I open my eyes to different doors. It looks like a tire. So I'm like, why not just make a car? So I was like, I made a base of a car, and then I'm like, why not make it a house on top of a car? JFK's AEC art program has absolutely had a positive impact on the school. Uh, not only has it added color and vibrancy to our walls, it's also allowed us to have a, a way of communication between the students. It's opened that up a lot more for our students. We have a, a very diverse population here at JFK, so um, students are able to communicate each, with each other about the artwork. They can find uh, things in common uh, that they might not have otherwise. Um, students can share things about themselves. There's a sense of pride when they see their artwork displayed. They can share it with their friends. So it's really strengthened uh, the sense of community here. The other thing that we really like to focus on is skills development that the students can transfer to other classes and other parts of their lives. So things like empowerment and problem solving, decision making. One thing I'm constantly trying to coach them on is feeling empowered in making their own decisions with their artwork. Yes, uh, art classes like this one absolutely uh, benefit students, uh, contributes to uh, their wellness, their, their well-being. Um, I mean, like I was saying before, art making does allow students to communicate things they might not be able to in words. So this gives them a chance to do that, in a, but in a non-threatening environment. So if they're processing difficult issues uh, in their lives, in the art room, they feel safe. They, they, they don't feel threatened. They can do this in, uh, in a way amongst their peers um, that they might not feel safe doing outside the class. I'm not really good at painting, but I, I like to do paintings and other stuff because like, in my childhood, I never really did painting. And I like, why not? Everybody likes their childhood and they want to paint too. And I feel like, as I say, this class is very, is very good at they include it back into the school because it gives people an you know, idea of their talents and what they can do after. How I ended up with this, uh, I started with a safe. And I, I tried to make a safe, but it didn't really work out and I ended up with uh, four wheels. I do believe that art programs are necessary in adult education. Uh, as adults, we, we tend to forget the benefits of art making. We value it more when we were children, but as adults we don't really see that there's a lot that we can still learn, that we have a chance to express ourselves creatively and how enjoyable that is. Um, when we make art, we take risks, we experiment, we, we do things that we might not do otherwise, and this is crucial to learning. So I think it's really important in the learning process to uh, have a chance to make art so that we can use those skills. And in a way, I feel that's what our classroom has become, and that turning point was really when we shifted from the two-dimensional, where people were working in a more solitary way on their own paintings and their own drawings, 
to the 3D and we started to introduce design thinking and that's when a lot of classroom collaboration happened and that was a really exciting moment for me as a teacher because that's when they started to help each other and stop turning to me for all of the problems that they had, artistic problems, but they began turning to each other and helping each other and speaking to each other as professionals. And it's these kinds of things that can prepare adults for the workplace. Um, and I think that's pretty unique about art. It gives that hands-on experience that can give them skills they can apply to the workplace post-adult education. So this class has benefited me a lot with my understanding, my patience. I was not a, I'm not a person. I'm not a person that that patient. So this one has been um, really a class that helped me through that. So getting the opportunity to just take a two-hour credit course that's just gonna make me unwind and like be free and just use my imagination and not use that stressful part of my brain. If you're calm after a while, after a, like four-hour math class, you come here and you like relieve your stress and it actually helps you students can kind of come here and relax for two hours before they go home so that's a really nice part about this class that makes it unique. Uh, I think art is sort of naturally an enjoyable process for most people.